Hey everybody, welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. See, so you got the 555 behind us. We are down at the pond. It's looking great, by the way. Looking really nice. This is our 1916 Bell Power that we drug home. Bought it for 800 bucks off Facebook Marketplace. Loaded it on a trailer and drug the daggone thing back to the property so we could put it next to the pond. Now there's some cool history on that bell tower and I'll share that with you in a little bit and I'll put the link to the description, no, link to the video where we drug that thing home so you can watch it if you want to. But its permanent home is supposed to be right up in here, right tucked back up in here so we have a little bit of lawn out in front of it if we want to have fires and stuff down in front of the pond. And then that also gives us room for a little bit of a parking area right here so when our friends and family come over and go fishing they can just hop right in here, fish off the bank and enjoy the pond. So this maple right here is gonna stay. You can compare the tops compared to that one. This one tolerated the root disturbance quite a bit and we didn't really get into the roots of that one very much when we built the pond. But you can compare it side by side comparison. We got into the roots on this one a little bit more and it didn't like it. So that maple, that maple, and this curved fella right here are gonna go. That's the first part of this. clean these trees up one at a time so I don't have a whole bunch of mess on the ground 372 is the saw choice today I'm showing you this because that's where the label would go if it had one that's okay <laughs> you get the dirt on a stump like that man it just runs a chain down fast I gotta go touch that chain up now also it's just my personal opinion but this stump is the most dangerous part of that operation. They're kind of unpredictable. And if it falls on you, you're not getting it off. So a little situational awareness and common sense goes a long way there. I just cut through enough that I can take the backhoe and break that stump off the rest of the way. two are the dream team we're gonna get a lot of work done this summer with these two let's do this little small one next it's leaning that way anyway
little soft and soupy on this side. If I ever do splurge and get new tractors for this thing, they're going to be R1s. Not those R4s. Not those R4s. That's for daggone sure. I'll see if I can't pull myself up just a little bit closer. Neighbor Gary came down. Remember, this is a split pond. The property line pretty much runs right down the middle of the pond. Neighbor came down, was feeding the fish, and went and talked to him for a little bit. Man, you ought to see. I might show you at the end of the video. Uh, we'll throw some food in there so you can see the catfish coming up. Oh, wow. They look good. We went fishing the other day. It was a blast. Let's see if we can get these stumps shoved or pulled out of the way. And then we'll start doing some of the dirt work. That tree will probably be the last thing we do. So I'd like to get that leveled up the bell tower moved and then that'd be the last thing that way the root wall doesn't come up and tip it over and then roll it into the pond it's still pretty soft we're sinking on that side a little bit oh we're a little leaning that's like my counterweight back there now hold on now
Well, because of the limited ability to get places with how soft it is, I'm going to kind of have to cut myself a bench up there first. Get myself back where I want, good and level with the machine, and I can start pulling this dirt in. And I'm just going to swing it uphill or just work it with me as I go, and hopefully we get down to good enough stuff where I can actually get in with the loader, pick my piles up, and get them out of here. I think I'm at a point now where I can come in from there and start working in to that bank. I've got enough wiggle room here and i got enough broken up material that I can get I mean, kind of some half buckets since we're working into that hill. But not today. Today's a birthday party for our oldest this evening. So we're going to wrap this up so i got plenty of time to get there, of course. Decided to wait a few days and let it dry out a little bit. There's still quite a bit of moisture in that clay, but it's definitely better than what it was. I'd... And we got a lot of dirt to move, so I'm going to get going with it. Since I kind of got this bench cut in here now, I'm going to start working in from that end with the loader and just taking the loader and packing it over. Make sure we're going to have to add some hydraulic fluid. We always do because she's got a little seep in her. Oh, she's got water. That's good. She's got the oil. That's good. She hasn't, I haven't had to add any oil. She hasn't been burning any. Or not enough that I've had to add, so that's good. It makes me happy. Working our way back in here pretty good. I'm gonna make another pass with the hoe and pull some of that bank out. Kind of starting to work our angle up a little bit. Pull that high side out. Then we'll be able to drag that bell tower over and lose that tree.
This is really shaping up nice. It is the following morning. And it's actually hoodie weather this morning. It's pretty chilly, surprisingly, but that's okay. Certainly don't mind it. I have these last few piles I need to get out of here. And this is too soft and the backhoe is just too heavy. It just keeps rutting this up. And seeing as we're not building an interstate, we're not going to dig way down deep and clear it all out. It'll be good enough for a parking pad and a bell tower. So we're just going to try to sneak around this outside and get as much of that as we can from there. Just go buy the backhoe. You've been driving past it for years. Just go get it. I'm not responsible for whatever happens afterwards though. That's your own doing, but man, it sure is handy. I'm gonna finish polishing this up with the 755. We'll just time lapse it for that real quick like. Not too bad for a clapped out back on an old 20 horse tractor. I think that'll work just fine. Let's get this thing close to where it's gonna go. I just got her sitting up on blocks right now. Thinking I can get the tractor underneath this board, lift it up, get those blocks out. And then we'll probably try to drag it with the backhoe. I think the best bet's gonna be hook on to this side. Try to spin it out. Cause I need that back side where we've got the louvers up high. That's gonna go against the bank. I'm thinking spin it out and in. We've all had plans before though, so we'll see how this goes. Got a little leanage going on. Hopefully it rides out okay. Now that I got her spun, we're gonna add another chain to that side. No, we're on that chain long ways. We're pulling both sides equally.
maybe if I can sneak through this side and hook the far side and roll it in. We get to have a little bit of fun i love this part this is my favorite part this is some very atrocious rigging this should swing the backhoe where it needs to be but we got that chain running up to a little bit smaller chain run up to this big feller which is made for cable probably but we're using a chain because that's what we got tied to that maple running through the strap because that makes sense and then on both sides so the goal we back up, and that pulls itself up the hill. It's almost too easy sometimes. That should work right where it's at. Plenty of room out in front of it. We get that all disconnected and put away. And then that maple's going down. Maybe that somewhere. I want it there's a hole right there so I'm trying to get but with where I'm at on this bank I can't really get in a good position to push this thing over it's steeper than it looks cameras just don't show you how steep terrain is so here's the good news the stump is already broken loose and uh, we're just gonna use the saw to finish it off we'll drop it in that hole leave a tall stump and I should be able to get it out the rest of the way good enough I just knocked her and got her kind of close with the saw and just finished her off I mean you guys are watching the video you know what I'm doing anywho let's cut this up into logs to save for firewood and the rest gets drug over
Well, we definitely got our area cleared out and we've got the bell tower situated where it's going to go permanently. Now we still got to get it leveled up. We still got to get some pads underneath and a whole bunch of landscaping and cleaning this all up. I'd like for all this to get a couple rains on it to help settle that stump hole and kind of get everything, you know, silted in. And then I've got a gill for behind that tractor. I've got a buddy that's, a, that's been borrowing it. And when I get that back from him, I'll take that gill and that gill will finish that up even better than what that road drag does. But you can see there'll be plenty of room. You can whip right in. Probably haul like three loads of churd in here at some point. Get a couple pickup trucks or cars right next to each other. Pull in here, hang out the bell tower, go fishing. It'll be perfect. My brothers have been out here. My one brother brought his grandson out here. I've had a couple other friends come out fishing. It's been a good time and the parking is an issue. So we want to get that sorted out. I did promise you just a little bit of history on that bell tower. That bell tower was made 1916, I believe is what it was. And it was actually the bell tower on top of the elementary school that my grandma went to elementary school in. So that bell tower housed the bell that once told my grandma that recess is over or lunch or what have you. And I think that's a pretty cool piece of history to have. It's all cypress wood. I'll put the link in the description of when we trucked that back. It was quite the adventure. And I think it's pretty cool to repurpose it down here on our property and have that little bit of history. It's something we can use.